I was terrified at what I was doing. And yet I was driven to do it for some reason. You know, on one hand, that could be terrifying. On the other hand, it's also really encouraging because it means that, oh, I'm not the only one who's struggling. There is a mystery to it. There's a mystery to all creative work, you know, and when you kind of touch the center of that mystery, that's when the good stuff happens. And going back to this place that was really formative and, and you know, where I grew up and, and having the story be the same, like nothing had changed in 20 years. I'm always writing, but I'm not always sitting putting pen to paper. I'm such a genius that it just comes at all times. But I have to ask the gods, stop. I need to do things. I need to eat. You know what I mean? I can't get these ideas when I'm trying to eat my raviolis. Hospitality and the art of service is at its core sharing. It was really nice to see Asian American stories and what had been nothing that I had seen before. work that I do, it's always the process of bringing in the, my ancestors to have long understood gender fluidity. I grew tired of talking about a thing and not actually doing a thing. That kind of self-fatigue <laughs> led me to take on something else that I was avoiding. I'm always afraid of finishing, committing. Um, all of that is scary. There's a lot of aspects of work that are terrifying. Sometimes you have to like summon the will to get over what scares you, but you do. We're stepping outside our comfort zone, outside our home, and into a new space where there's different perspectives, different people that come from different walks of life. These beginnings really show us very quickly who we were and who we were going to become. It doesn't matter how I feel. My feelings are not a subject. I'm here, know. but I'm... <laughs> when you commit to a process, when you commit to creating, then there's something at stake.